The student town of Lund, Sweden, where I live, became one of the two winners of the One Planet City Challenge of the World Wildlife Fund in 2022. A lot of the things that happen here are really impressive. However, even here, the car is really central to transport. I'll give you a couple of examples. Let's go. The speed limit on a lot of major roads is 40, which is okay if people would actually stick to it. But as you can see, they drive a lot faster than that. Bikes are supposed to ride along with cars on this. When we moved here, uh, that was the situation. We were supposed to bike out there. Luckily, by riding to the city a few times, uh, we got them to decide that we are allowed to ride here together with the pedestrians. Before we moved to where we live now, we lived in this rental complex behind me. This is owned by the city. And for years we were fighting as part of the Renters Association to get better bicycle parking. The alternative is to take it into your cellar, but that's really not an option for many older people. Now some of that parking actually is in place now. In other places this it's still lacking. And the number one blocker of all this was we needed building permission for a lot of this bike parking. The city is the one that gives out building permits. Here we have the train station. That's the next problem. If you try to leave your bike here, you really can't be sure if it's there the next day. Imagine this happening to cars. Imagine that the city would have like a parking lot and everybody knew that, well, if you put your, your car there, it may just get stolen. The uproar, nobody would accept that. Yet somehow with bikes, it's totally fine. Now, if you don't have a car, and you need to leave town, you need to do it by some other means. The most obvious is by train. And the closest city to Lund or Malmö is Copenhagen. So you'd think they'd invest a lot in having good transport to Copenhagen. Somehow nobody can figure out how to buy double-decker trains. Nobody can figure out how to upgrade the trains that are there. Nobody can figure out how to increase capacity and somehow nobody is responsible. Uh, whereas on the city level, everybody knows the politicians that are responsible. On the regional level, nobody really knows. Somebody is responsible, but we don't know who that is. Even the, the bicycle city of Lund has a major motorway that's cutting it in half. And if you're thinking, well, this is all, this is something that's going to be replaced, surely they're looking at plans for how to close it down entirely. Not at all. The bicycle city of Lund is actually looking at how to expand the motorway. Why? Because there's increased traffic. And as if that wasn't enough, uh, the hospital, which is currently closer to downtown, so on the part that is close to the railway station, where people can come by, by train and other means, uh, is to be moved. They still don't quite know where, but there are some suggestions that it will be on the other side of the motorway and that it will be mainly accessible by car. Again, I really think that the city of Lund does a lot of impressive stuff. It's not just transport, it's in, in heating, it's in recycling, and there's a lot of really great plans for how to, how to improve things even going forward. If even here, it is so hard to work for a better bike infrastructure and for a better connection with trains with nearby cities how will that be and how will that be in other cities cities that where the car is even stronger where even more people use the car every day